so today is the next day and I got more packages. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening them up. All right, this one is big. Okay, I know what this is. It, it's for what's in this box. When I open that box, I'm gonna show y'all what's that. And here is, oh, so kind of heavy. Ah. A brand new ring light. But it shit's in a bag. This shit is brolic. This shit brolic as fuck. How does it work? I know it don't go like that. Cause I don't know how that's supposed to work. Unless they put that upside down or something. Oh my god. Bruh. It's huge. This other one. Here. Okay, here are all the instructions. You're supposed to hold this in one hand and pull everything else down. Ah, reddish shape. The legs. It's just the legs. Oh, this is supposed to be bendable, but I can't bend this shit. I can't I can't bend it? What? Nah, Donovan would have to do this. <sighs> but I barely bent it. Uh, I don't know if I'm using this that often. I can't lie, I'm just starting to question in my head. Did, did I need this? Where am I gonna put this shit? Where am I gonna put it? Ooh. Another Bluetooth remote. My god. This shit is humongous. Right around my new shit. Lemonade my cognac. Hit us in my contact. Back a hole up, bitch, just slow up. I don't know you. Hey, I got my door up. I can't slow up. Thought I told you. Hey, back a hole up, bitch, just slow up. I don't know you. Hey, I got my door up. So, if I want to put my smartphone, it's just going to be in here. Okay, I guess this thing isn't as complicated as I thought it was. Yeah, who the fuck do I think I am? Do you see this shit? We about to, about to plug it in. See what happens, because this is, this is interesting. I'm gonna put my phone so I can also record my first reaction. Shit, cheap. This is going straight in the trash. But the cheapness isn't necessarily a problem. It's like you, you can't be cheap and they're hard to open as well. At least this one is easier to open. Start recording. How I turn it on? I'm so scared. I think this is on. Jesus Christ. It has a dimmer. So, this is the lowest it, it could be. And this is with the white light. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Okay, this is it off. First setting. Wow, this is actually like great. But the first setting is like. Have like a little glow to me or whatever. Second setting. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. My eyes is burning. My eyes are on fire at this point. I have to close my eyes. It's so bright. This is the highest setting. And I can't see. <laughs> so there's that. So I'm going to turn this back on. Ah, I like it. I like it. And I also bought a soft box. A soft light diffuser because let's say that I don't want to keep it on this brightness. Um, I want more power, but I don't want it to be as abrasive. This diffuser is supposed to be for 
an 18 inch ring light. Did it come with instructions? And this is from the company that made the ring light. Oh, I'm doing it backwards. Cause I'm like, why is this not stretching? Obviously, this is a stretching part. Okay, so now I have the diffuser on the light. So let's see how the lighting goes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So turn it off again. This is now the first setting. Oh, this is the first setting, so I'll do a comparison. Wow, it actually looks like a more kind of natural-ish light. The second setting. And it doesn't look as abrasive anymore. Third. Fourth. Fifth. See, I couldn't get this far before. Six. I can still I can still look. My eyes aren't seven. I didn't get to seven before. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, now my eyes are starting to burn. Okay, and I think this is the highest setting, so it makes sense why my eyes are starting to burn then. <sighs> that is my new ring light. This shit is crazy. This shit is fucking wild. I'm very happy with this fridge. This shit is fire. She's fine. I'm gonna take off the, the, the Jesus Christ. I twisted it the wrong way. I'm gonna take off the diffuser now. And I'm happy I bought the diffuser because I was I was thinking that this might be a bit too powerful on its own based off of what I've read about it. So I bought sheets. So it's here. This is hand wash. I don't want a hand wash. Hand wash at 30 degrees. Mm. So this. Oh, and it's satin sheets, by the way. So it's good for hair, skin, all that good stuff. Beards. This is a light box. Ooh, came with different stuff. I don't know how to use this, so I'm gonna just put everything back inside. But I am happy that it's here. So it's supposed to be used to do like photography with. So I decided to try it out. This is on a different day. So I had made some vegan brownies. The recipe is gonna be coming up soon. But um, this is how you set the light box up. So it's foldable and it's really compact, which, it, which I think is cool. It has two LED strips on the top. It has buttons on the side that you like clip together as you can see here. And then it just kind of stands up. It has one one wall open so that you could take the photos um it has two led strips on the top that like um that has a usb connector at the end of it so i plugged it into my computer and it came with four different backdrops one white gray black and blue so i decided to test out um taking photos with it with one of my hair products so here's like a little photo shoot um with a different hair product with the hair product with the different backgrounds um. Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy. I've been thinking lately, lately it's you. You stole your peace. I'm still learning how to use my DSLR, so the white balance is a bit off in these photos, which makes it look kind of wonky but you guys can kind of get the gist. And you can also take the top off so that you could take um, photos straight down into the, um, into the light box too, which I think is really cool. And then now here is me like staging my, um, my brownie to do that kind of little photo shoot. And I topped the brownie with some cacao powder. The white stuff is like hemp seeds. And that is how you use a light box. You've been flexing everywhere. Girl, look in the mirror. Man, you're so dirty. Yeah, you look so What's in that box? Here. 
and I actually am missing one package, but uh, I'm not gonna get it now. Okay, so this is a roll of elastic. This is so I can have more um, control over my clothing when I make it. I haven't used elastic before sewing, but I know that it'll take my garments to the next level if I had elastic in it. This is supposed to be, I believe this is half an inch. I'm gonna just have to see how it works out. But I got some elastic. Oh, so the toothpaste that we use is Spirograph. And this is my first time buying the charcoal one. So it's supposed to be whitening. Now we got this box. Karachis, because I never had them. So I got me some Harachis. I needed some all black sneakers. I don't have any. And it's about to be fall again. All I have, like I have blue sneakers, I have um one that's like white, green, and orange, but I don't have any black. So I have big feet, so I hope they don't look bulky. Where's my socks? Ooh. This, is, this is a size 10. Do I need 11? Jesus Christ. Like, if I had to get size 11, I don't even know what I would do. I would have to like, just stop wearing sneakers altogether. My feet, my feet them too big. Are these not a size 10? What size is this? Yeah, it's a size 10. Did I get it in kids? <laughs> they feel fine. I feel like they look like dress shoes though. Like I'm going to school or some shit. But, oh well, I just need some black sneakers. Sodium wingspan. I am the they itching to see when you sitting with me, you a wingman. 